if it is me, I will prepare to govern the country okay. on day one. If it okay. is not me, I will accept that my competitor has won. If I have any issue, I will go to court and accept the outcome of the court. Kweli, mimi ni katibu mkuu wa Kanu. Sio namna hiyo? Lakini Kanu hii ya mimi na Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kanu yenyewe ambayo ni ya miaka 40 ni Kanu ya kina Mheshimiwa Kibaki. As ODM, we believe we have a duty to this country to create um, precedents so that in future people can improve on it. We will respect their opinion to say yes for whatever reasons they have. They must respect our opinion to say no for the reasons we have stated. When we forged with many other Kenyans to form the Jubilee Party, we wanted and we now have a national political movement. Na commission ya IBC isitulete mchezo. Kama namna gani? Sisi tunataka kupiga kura wananchi wa Kenya waamue rais wao. Enda upige kura kwa mpango ambao utapatia mtoto wako kazi. Enda upige kura kwa mpango ambayo iko na pesa ya kuinua biashara yako. William Kipchurchil Samoei Arap Ruto is easily one of Kenya's top three political figureheads having remained at the center of the country's body politic for the last 15 years. I see him as a, a self-made man, a man who would want to project himself as an ordinary person, having lived an ordinary life, and so I wants to identify with the half-notes. William Root was born on December 21st, 1966 in Kamagut in the county of Wasangishu, to Daniel and Sarah Cheruyot. He attended Karotet Primary School for his elementary education, then Warang Secondary School for his O-Levels before joining Kapsabet Boys High School for his A-Levels. And it was during his time at the University of Nairobi in the late 1980s where he studied botany and zoology that Ruto's political appetite came to the fore. He would later enroll for a master's degree in environmental science and a doctorate in philosophy in plant ecology from the same university. After graduating with his bachelor's degree at the height of the clamor for multipartism in 1990, Ruto plunged into politics. He became the organizing secretary for the Youth for Kano 92, a group that had been formed to drum up support for President Daniel Arap Moi, who was facing the rigors of a multi-party election for the first time since ascending to power 14 years earlier. The connection comes because Ruto was a uh a leader of the choir in the AIC church and as you know Moi loved the church so much, AIC especially. So probably I think that is the starting point, the end, Ruto's entry into politics. In the 1997 general election, Ruto was elected member of parliament for Eldoret North constituency, beating veteran politician Ruben Chisire. Ruto went on to serve as Eldoret North MP for 15 years. Ruto is very good, is a good orator. He can speak endlessly and he chooses his words in a way convenient to the audience that he's addressing. So when he goes to Western, he knows what to say in Western. When he goes to Central, he knows what to say to the people in Central. So yeah, understanding his audience, being able to be very measured. In 2002, as he retained his parliamentary seat, he found himself in the opposition benches for the first time as the NARC revolution swept Kanu out of office. Five years in the opposition led Ruto to join hands with Raila Odinga and others who had fallen out with President Mwai Kibaki on the back of the controversial 2005 constitutional referendum. Going into the disputed 2007 elections, Ruto's political stock had risen significantly. I think we have managed to persuade our followers and supporters of ODA to agree to a nomination exercise. That does not, however preclude the option of um, agreeing on, on a <coughs> candidate as so long as uh, that ag agreement brings on board all the players uh, of ODM. He sought the Orange Democratic Movement ODM presidential ticket but polled third behind Odinga and Musalia Mudavadi. He became a member of the famous ODM Pentagon 
emerging as the undisputed Rift Valley political kingpin. He, he, he was able to galvanize the Rift Valley, he was able to work very closely with the people on the ground, and he was seen as the point person in the Raila campaign in the 2007 elections. Following the bitterly contested election of 2007, which was marred by post-election violence with a joint government and the ensuing efforts to solve the political crisis. He was named Minister for Agriculture and later Minister for Higher Education before falling out with Odinga. As the late President Mwai Kibaki and Raila Odinga successfully led the nation in promulgating a new constitution, Ruto took a dissenting view leading the No campaign in the 2010 constitutional referendum. How can you lie to millions of Kenyans unless you are telling us that those Kenyans who are in No are fools? Another significant chapter of Ruto's political career came in December 2010, when Ruto was named among six other prominent Kenyans, including President Uhuru Kenyatta, as those bearing the highest responsibility for the 2007-2008 post-poll violence that left over 1,000 people dead. Ruto would battle a crimes against humanity case at the International Criminal Court for the next five years. And as the 2013 general election approached, Ruto teamed up with Kenyatta in a surprise turn of events to found the Jubilee Alliance, where they beat Odinga's Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Accord. I, William Samoei Ruto. And Kenyatta was elected Kenya's fourth president, with Ruto becoming the country's first deputy president. In the run-up to the 2017 general election, Ruto led efforts to fold his alliance's constituents' political parties to form the Jubilee Party. Kenyatta and Ruto won the vote, but had to contend with the shock of the Supreme Court nullifying the entire election. They were re-elected in the repeat poll, boycotted by Raila's coalition, NASA. However, trouble hit paradise almost immediately after, following the largely unforeseen handshake between President Kenyatta and Odinga that split the government and the governing Jubilee Party right down the middle. Ruto then moved to the United Democratic Alliance, UDA, in efforts to succeed Kenyatta as Kenya's fifth president. Ruto will be banking on his political networks with his Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance partners and shrewd mobilization skills as he seeks to make history as the first person since the reintroduction of multipartism to win the presidency on the first time. Kibaki had to run three times. Raila is now having the fifth stab at the presidency. Uh, so if he wins, he will be making history. If he, however, loses, he has nothing to lose. He is 56, like I said. He looks forward to, uh, he can go back, learn his lessons, what went wrong with these campaigns, why didn't I win, and get ready for 2027. So, in accordance with the law, the constitution and the law, I, Wafula Chepukati, chairperson of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, hereby declares that Ruto William Samoe has been duly elected as the president. of the Republic of Kenya under the provisions of Article 138 of the Constitution in the presidential election held on 9th of day of August 2022. Ruto William Samoe.